Hey everyone, welcome to a video that will show you how to quickly and easily create a new level in your Unreal Engine project. So this is a basic tutorial and it will show you the most effective way to do the same. Right now we have our starter map for the first person game that you can get as a template from your Unreal Engine. And right here we're going to create a box trigger that will activate a blueprint which will transport you to level 2 and this is a kind of a regular simulation of a level based game where you can go through levels as you progress through the game and start at level 1 finish at the last level once you beat the game completely we're going to do that and I'm going to show you how you can create a new level inside of your own project right now the first thing we need to do is the renaming of the starter map which we're going to name or rename level 1. Here is the place where I'm going to add the same actor or more precisely a blueprint actor that will trigger the transportation to the new level. Once we got the first level renamed I'm going to create in my starter content a new folder level trans level transport where I'm going to create a new blueprint class which is going to be an actor I'm going to call it level 2 trig as in level 2 trigger and I'm going to open it up to add a box collider to it right now it doesn't have anything so I'm going to add component that is going to be box collision. Here it is. I'm going to modify it later on. But right now we have our basic actor and it has its collision. So let me just dock this here. And with this we can now set up the second level from which the player will be transported. Or more precisely to which the player will be transported. We're going to go to starter content, maps again, and we're going to copy or duplicate level 1 into yeah, level 2. So right now, if we double click on it, we're going to save these. It's identical, but to make things more clear, we're going to change it up and we're going to delete all of these elements. So it's clear that we're in a new place we're going to take care of them all and take them all out of the level and they're gone and we're going to now add a blueprint modification to the same save these to the box trigger we created here and we're going to do that in the event graph we're going to delete this node and event take node and only leave event actor begin overlap you can delete them all and then add this later on whatever you like from here on we're going to create a node that is going to be simple open level and we're going to use open level by name that node here we can choose the level name which is level 2 and this is the really simple really effective command of actor which is the player actor entering this node starting this node which is open level 2 so I'm going to save this and compile I'm going to go back here I'm going to select my player capsule and I'm going to add my box glider here the trigger I'm going to expand it so it's a bit bigger back to the viewport to the box collider we can 
make it more into a block that the player character will trigger with more ease. It's in the wrong position, so I'm going to rotate it like this and pull it up a bit so it's right in front of the player once we begin the game. So the idea is to have the player step into this space and this will automatically transport the player to level 2. Right now we're still at level 1. We're going to recognize level 2 by it not having all of these and having lots of these orbs just levitating in empty space. So let's see if it all works. We're going to go again and save and start the game. So here we are, a lot of ambiental sounds. We're going to fire and start level. As you can see, I'm still at level one. I'm stepping into the box and apparently I'm still at the same position. However, when I turn around, there is level two. So none of these platforms are still in. This is level two. And with that simple process, you can be transformed and transported more precisely to your next level or second level. As you can see, the process is incredibly simple yet incredibly useful for any kind of video game development where you want to have something that is level based. You don't want to have seamless transitions of your world. You want to have something, for example, from 2D platformers or similar games or racing games where you have a distinction and clear divide between level 1, 2, 3 and everything else. This is a perfect option. As you can see, it only takes two nodes in Blueprint, it only takes one box trigger and it, the level that you're using. Besides that, you basically have everything ready in Unreal Engine. So a pretty powerful feature, a pretty simple feature. Hopefully you found it useful, hopefully you found it interesting. If you do have questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a like and sharing it with some of your friends who might find it useful. Also, if you want to support my work, please check out the links in the description below. They can take you to my pages that include my PayPal donation page, that include my Amazon book that I'm selling presently on Amazon. It's about overcoming wasting time. And again, thanks so much for watching. This is the end of the same tutorial. Again, hopefully you found it useful and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Until my next video, bye bye.